Star Wars fans and action figure collectors got another Black Series 2 pack to review today. Really excited. Mandalorian Shriekhawk trainers. These are going to pair up very nicely with the uh, Mandalorian Shriekhawk trooper that came out uh, a couple of weeks ago that I reviewed recently. Um, I'll leave a link somewhere in the video, probably at the end, um, so you can check that one out individually if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, pretty pumped for this two pack. It's nice to get a little bit more variation with the Mandalorians. Um, don't get me wrong, I love any and all Mandalorians. Uh, give us more, please. Um, but yeah, this is sort of to break up the, the blue of the Night Owls. Um, you know, have some of the uh, have some of the armor as covert sort of come to fruition. I'd love to see the Mandalorian Judge that was released in TVC come to the Black Series as well. But this pack looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited about these two additions. They look pretty solid. We have a we have a male and a female there, which is cool. Some different sort of colours in the armour, which looks nice. I like the change. A little right up on the back, it says, led by a training team, Mandalorian Shriekhawks hone special skills in jetpack operations, scouting and rescue missions. And it's got a picture of the two. Nothing extra special to talk about with the box. So uh, let's bust them open and have a look at the figures. All right, folks, here's a couple of snazzy looking Mandalorians out of the packaging. Very, very impressed with these. Uh, weapon wise, they come with the same weapons that came with the uh, the other Shriekhawk Mandalorian. So they each come with the uh, rifle. I don't know what the name of the rifle is. They've both got that sort of, you know, black with the with the gold trim. I think that looks really, really cool. I do rate that. And then they each come with uh, different blasters. I thought they were the same for a second. I just quickly got them out of the packaging. So we got the sort of the standard Mandalorian one here. Which unfortunately isn't painted much. It's just cast in a white, grey. A little bit of black on the handle there. But that'll be going in the holster because I, like uh, I like the rifle better. And I think this is the same. This is the same pistol that came with the other Mandalorian, the other Shriekhawk. And that's nicely done too. But they they both got holsters, which is cool. They also come with their jetpacks. I'll go one by one. So the the Night Owl, which I think is what they call all of the Mandalorian females. I think they call them the Night Owls just because of the shade of the helmet, but. We're going to go with that for the moment. That will go on the back there. That looks good. And the backpack, jetpack for the other one. Pretty good. You got the uh, removable thrusters there. You got the holes for the flame effects if you so choose. And then the, uh, the rocket in the top. That will go in his back, funnily enough. So let's start off with, with this one here. Now one thing I did have to do is, uh, is just to the way the helmet was sort of squashed in the packaging, it was a little bit misshapen, but I just ran some boiling water over it and uh, it went back to its sort of factory standard, I guess, as it was intended. This is another head sculpt that they've just sort of put a helmet over a uh, a blank head, which works. But um, yeah, unfortunately, when you put them in the packaging, they just can get a little bit misshapen. So if you do see yours in the packaging, a little bit misshapen, a little bit of boiling water will fix that right up. But it looks cool. I like the I like the markings. Got the rangefinder on the side. You can sort of see nicks and dents in the helmet. Some scratch marks. Oh, the scratches down the uh, over the eye there. And a few little scuffs. 
I imagine it's probably reused from Cosca Reeves and the other Night Owl we've had, which is fine. But I do love the addition of the, uh, you call it a snood, around the neck there. I think that looks really, really good. And that's sort of the inspiration for what I'm doing with my own Mandalorian outfit, is having a bit of that sort of collar collar tassels, tussle sort of, I don't know what to call it, a snood. There is another word for it, but it's not coming to mind. So yeah, coming down, we've got some different colours on the armour. We've got the Death Watch symbol there on the shoulder pad. That looks good. And I like the mix of the sort of the orange, the greens, a little bit of red, still some blue. And the sort of undersuit, the jumpsuit, or flight suit if you cho choose to call it that. Like a real sort of, almost sort of sky blue, but it's sort of got a bit of a grey tone to it as well. Looks good. Again, the orange. The holster on the side. Let's make sure the uh, blaster fits in there. It will. So that's good. Again, I love that they're able to, you know, keep with a basic skeleton of a figure. And then, you know, such as the, uh, the torso... Which is almost almost a molded soft plastic sleeve now. They can just sort of slip over the uh, skeleton of a figure. They don't have to completely re-sculpt a figure from the base, which is great. You can add extras like the belt in this sort of soft plastic. It's so unique with the uh, with the sort of the flap down the front and back. I think that looks good. Of the legs. And we got the sort of the shin armor there on the boot that looks nice. The knee armor as well. Yes, yeah, this, this is a nice looking Mandalorian yeah, armor up with the. Uh, So it looks good articulation wise. It has a double ball joint in the top of the head, ball joint in the neck, ball hinge in the shoulders. There's that little butterfly joint in the side there too. Ball hinges in the elbows. Very good. Good solid bend. Ball hinges in the wrists, both up and down. I've got a torso joint there. You know, the ball and socket in the hips, swivel at the top of the thighs, ball hinge in the knees, ball hinge in the ankles, and a rocker in that ankle. So yeah, very nice. Let's do a little, little peg test. Sure, it's going to go on the figure. It will. I know it will. Perfecto mundo. So there's, there's the female addition to the crew. And then we'll take a look at this fella. And really, really cool. And he's got the broken range finder. That's how he comes. Just if you're uh, again one of those things, if you uh, see that in the packaging, it's it's not broken. It's uh, it's by design. He's uh, been in been in some battles and he's had it knocked off. Um, but it's cool that they kept that on there like that. Um, I I don't know. I just I dig that. So again, the Death Watch logo on the shoulder pad. Again, I was sort of talking about that. Almost the torso slipping over like a sleeve. The soft, softer plastic. And sort of colour match and 
sculpt a whole different sort of sleeve to sort of slip over the top like a like a singular tank top so you can get a, another unique chest sculpt and have it look different same with the uh, the belt and the cod piece here it's a nice individual sculpt it's probably it's not going to break the bank probably having to you know it's not re-sculpting a, to a totally new figure and you can uh, have some variations but still keep the base the base figure pretty pretty much the same which is which is great again loving the color scheme loving the, the sort of the browns the reds a touch of the greens and the yellows the sort of mustard yellow is really good yeah loving the Loving the new, the different sort of chess armor there. It's just something breaks it up, makes it look different, rather than just having all the Mandalorians rocking the same sort of Boba Fett style or Din Djarin style. So there's sort of similar armor pieces on the on the thighs there, on the shins. Looks pretty good. Again, Hasbro hasn't sort of gone and weathered these guys up a bit at much at all, um, if at all. But you know, if that's if that's something you'd like to do yourself, you can absolutely do that. I would like to give it a shot one day, but I, apart from being probably being a little bit lazy, I also don't really care that much. Sort of occasionally I'll play around, but yeah, I'm not usually that. I'm not too usually fussy about weathering and stuff like that. If I really wanted to do it, I'd do it myself, but yeah, I just don't care to. So you're just trying to. He's got a really big thumb. It's a bit tricky to get get in there in that blaster that we're getting there that's all right I'll fix that up a bit more afterwards but yeah another cool looking Mandalorian nicely painted and then just that cool point of difference between the Mandalorian crews So we'll go through this one's articulation as well. Yeah, he's got the molded helmet. It's with the molded head. So ball joint in the head, ball joint in the bottom of the neck, ball hinges in the shoulders again with the butterfly joint as well. Ball hinge in the elbows. There's a swivel at the gauntlet there. And swivel the wrist there is a ball hinge. On the wrist, that one's an in and out. This one's an up and down hinge. There's the torso joint there. The ball and socket of the hips. Swivels at the top of the thighs. Ball hinges in the knees. Ball hinges in the ankles. And that rocker in the foot again. Awesomeness. Again, we'll try that, try that peg. Make sure they're going to stay on the stands. There we go. Nice, snug, tight fit. So there we have the Mandalorian Shriek Hawk trainers. Bringing in this guy, got a little bit of a squad happening. Would definitely be happy to see some more. I love these three together, they look great. Really, really cool stuff. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed checking out these figures. It's more coming up very, very soon. So stay tuned. Subscribe, all that cool stuff.
We'll see you again very soon. Till then, this is the way. We would be honored if you would join us.